every single show that we've ever done on this channel the playlist, that playlist is there without me talking to your fucking face off so the next thing we got guys is from chuck it is the edge it is called do your dirt let's do it right away what up unique unique, unique one, one. Unique ones here. <laughs> Temple of Bars royalty, everybody. It all started out when I was a teen. I wanted to be the man alive, a sneaker on the scene. Mm. Who would ever expect it out of time? I would run. I used to live by the gun until I caught a bad one. Mm. And now I'm laying in this hospital bed with this bullet in my head, thinking about the life that I led. Or better yet, Jesus. should I say Lee? Follow me on this journey. Ask my gold piece, please. I wasn't trying to hear it. I had a Oh my head. god. I also had a 16 shot clock full of lead. I'd be like, let's do this. I'm ready to get in this. Before the movie came out to my society. Was a menace sticking in wow. a daily basis, cutting faces, taking shit to trial, beating cases. I did my dirt, and when I'm through, I left no clue, won't be no creeping. Cause this nigga here don't be sweet. Wait a minute, who's this nigga coming up the block in? Juicy's rocking, I'm about to stick him with the Glock in his mouth. So he don't make a sound when I do him, money wasn't having it. So I blew him, left him on the floor, but run through the jaw. He's laid out flat, so I guess there's no need for no more heat. But wait a minute, money's moving his feet. I wanna finish him, but here comes the D's running. We definitely got one more full length verse coming up too. In front of my mother and I'm chilling, sitting on the bench with my peeps getting blitzed as we reminisce. How I did this stick up, how much though did I pick up, and how many niggas I had to hit up. And as we talk, I see this kid coming up the block with a fucked up grill, walking with a block. I strained my eyes, but I still couldn't recognize. Here I come, and he's in for a big surprise. And I can tell he don't remember me because the crowd got him drunk, and he's pulled off the E and J and but that's okay. And he's gonna be laying from one to the dome. That's my word, I'm not playing. <laughs> Wow. Think think about the concept of that. Mm. He got he's laying in a hospital bed after getting shot in the fucking head and he lives and he's in bed thinking about how it's great that he's alive, but now he's gotta fucking get after the motherfucker that shot him. And then years go by. Sorry, my son's home now, so I shouldn't be talking about shooting people. <laughs> um but uh and then the th- the third the third verse the third verse is years later coming to fruition the same guy gets him again mm-hmm. that's uh that's a really cool artistic decision it was heavy storytelling uh aggressive it was the beat was dope it was old school it had an old school grit to it um love the story it was like a movie i i I know I, I I formed what he looks like in my brain and like had a storyline going. It was really effective on my site on my consciousness. Um, check the edge, do your dirt. That's a nine point eight. That's a ten. I got two tens on the card. That's a ten. Why not give it a ten? Uh, wow. Uh, 
Love it. Ignacio, what are you saying? Chuck. Yes. Fucking Chuck. Every now and again, something comes across the airways that you sit and you think, hmm, this is pretty dope, right? Hmm? This is one of those things, Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those. This is one of those things that those. you sit back and you say, hmm, this is pretty fucking dope, Chuck. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a 9.3 as well because it has criteria all over it for me anyway. Yeah. And uh, man, this with a fucking Chuck. <laughs> because it is uh, one MC the entire track, whereas Big no, it's Daddy two. Kane is mm, it's oh, two. the thir- oh, there's two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you if you notice the the first verse was was it, one guy. It was the second them going verse, back and forth. They were going the back and forth. The was second the verse guy. Was, was the guy, the guy that the first guy was going after. Right. And then in the third verse, they were both going back and forth. Right. Okay, right. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch yeah. that. I thought, I thought it, it was all the same guy. It kind of gave me like a really like, a, I don't know if you guys have ever know the group of the percussions, but it gave me a really big vibe of the percussion, somewhere between like a DOS FX and a, and an Onyx, like in between mm-hmm. that. Okay, cool. Uh, Presta, what are you saying? Yeah, I'm kind of torn on this one. So yeah, I'm getting like the feel of like uh, like like uh, New Jersey, you know, like it reminds me of like early Red Man or like early Busta or something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, DOS effects for sure. Um, I, I wasn't. I really liked the storytelling. I wasn't a really f- big fan of his voice. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but I loved everything else about it. I really loved the boom bap feel to it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a solid nine. Solid nine, Thanks. Chuck. Tell us about it. Um, yes, the uh, this was this was a random find, and uh, the uh, the the more I listened Pandora. to it, the more the more. Uh, no, no, I just just I don't know, just a random find, and uh, this through my travels <laughs> and uh, through through my quest. Um, but um, but yeah, I uh, I one of the things I really liked about it was how there was this split between the individual players within the scene it kind of in some ways seems to be glorifying that street life that they're living and then the the chorus in between is kind of highlighting the like the the consequences of that you know that you know like it do what you got to do but what you give out you're gonna get you know and uh the um but yeah i, I thought it was really cool um with the storytelling and the i gotta listen to together again big in the time. back and forth um that was it was neat so um i really liked it um definitely you know it's definitely you know, it is old school it was i think 93 um you know um, not the greatest production, um, but uh, I love know, it. I one, love uh, that one, production. One from the buried archives, you know, and so that was uh, that was um, from the crates. Um, yeah, yeah, from the crates. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a nine two. I just I really like it. Nice. Nine point two, Lady Puddick, what are you saying? Yeah, I'll do you one, but I'm gonna give it a nine eight, and I love Whoa. it. And yes, yes, yes. Whoa. I love everything about it. I knew this Me was too. early '90s. I could feel it, and sure mm-hmm. enough, yeah, mm-hmm. I dig the production. I love the way that sounds. Me too. Uh, you know what this this reminded me of? Fan fiction of Menace to Society gone very, very right and done very, very well. Oh. Okay, so yeah, um, not okay. not much I didn't like about this at all. Song of the night for me. Fan so far. fiction, I love it. One hundred percent say yes. That is going in the playlist. So on the Good playlist, stuff, man. it goes. Good. Next one that we got, guys. Yeah, dude, that was that was fucking pleasant. Next one we got is 